Okay, now that we have a user interface more or less complete, let's go and do some block programming for it. We'll start off with some variables that we're going to need in order to make this work. The first of them is going to be score. Up here in math, we can set that score to zero, of course, we're starting out. Another variable we're going to need, we're going to call it index, and it keeps track of what question we're on. So this one, it's not going to be on zero, but rather start off on question number one. We're also going to need a variable for the answer. So this is the answer that is going to be compared against the correct answer list. And so this one is going to be text, and it starts off being blank. When they press a button, it will fill in with an A, B, C, or D. We're also going to keep track of whether they press that hint button or not. So I'm going to make this variable named hint, and I'm going to use logic, and it's going to start off that the hint button has not been pressed. And to cover my bases, I'm also going to do something here for the score. We'd like them to score two points if they didn't use the hint, and one point if they did. So I'm going to make a variable here called points, and by default it's going to start out with a value of two, and that will be reduced to one if the hint button is pressed. The other part of getting started here are some variables that are going to be lists. So I'm going to start off right here and go to my lists and I'm going to make a list out of it. By default it has two of them. This one is going to be the image list and it's going to have the file names of the images to be displayed. There's going to be ten of them if you haven't got 10, let's be optimistic and go ahead and make the 10 spots. If you know you're going to have more already, you can add those in now. But you click on this right here and you add the items. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So now we've got blank list of 10 and these are going to be text. And the name of the file is going to go right in there. So I'm going to use my copy paste here to easily fill in the rest of these and I'm doing this because I'm going to need several of these now that I have a complete empty list I'm going to copy and paste the whole thing so down here we're going to have the correct list the list of correct answers and the reason I'm putting these two here is because I know they're not going to be very wide. So when I get ready to make my next one, I can put them fairly close by. So let me go ahead and do that. And this one is going to be the question list. And this is, of course, just the text that we're going to copy and paste from the actual spreadsheet that we made. And these will, of course, be the answers list. Now these are going to be longer just depending on how long your questions and stuff were. So we will leave a gap and we'll probably have to move these over for the last pair. And these are going to be the links. So they it is a list but we're going to add the word li link right here. I'm sorry. Article link. And then we might as well since we have it depending on if we have a chance to use it or not. Maybe one of those advanced things that we do as an add-on. But let's go ahead and preserve the image link as well. Gives us a chance of showing that image full resolution if we have it. So this is now going to be where we type in. It's the only one we won't really be copying and pasting. But if you name them correctly, you're going to have 01.jpg, 02.jpg. And remember, if you do have a PNG, then remember which one it is and put PNG in there instead. So I would just do JPEG for each of these in anticipation of having all of those in there. If you know you've only got five so far, then you could stop right there and just test it out as far as it went. Let me go ahead and fill these in for this because I believe I'm going to have JPEGs. For most of them, I'll come back and change the one that's going to be a PNG. After this, we're going to set up the screen initialization. Get this in here, 08.jpg. 
to a line.jpg and 10.jpg. You can see why we use those leading zeros there. It keeps it all nice and neat. So then you'll go to your spreadsheet and you'll copy and paste from each of the cells the letters and the questions, the answers, and then the links to both the article and the image.